what is going on my soul family welcome back to the infinite limits channel good morning it is morning where i'm at right now just waking up for the day and getting started but i hope you're having a good night evening day afternoon whenever you decide to watch this video we're gonna dive in we're gonna see what's going on with the energy just seeing gonna take a just short moment just to meditate and yeah and then we'll get started with the reading start by taking a deep breath in and then out go ahead and ring my little bell here We're gonna get started here. These cards kind of got mixed up. Sorry, give me a second. I hate when this happens when my cards get all mixed together. <laughs> or not mixed together, but um upside down okay All the information you need about the channel is found down in the description box below. I am doing this YouTube channel full time as of right now. So if you want to support the channel, I have several links down below where you can donate via PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. And all your donations are greatly appreciated. We have de defamation of character, so your character could have been being slandered in some kind of way. Uh, lies, people saying certain things about you that are untrue in the hopes that it would catch fire and that people would... I'm hearing disown you or not want to collaborate with you, not want to work with you. not be loyal to you so there's definitely something about that here um saying things that are untrue about your character gossip rumors okay something about a rock band okay so th uh these people or this person could be involved with uh some kind of group And whoever's coming to your mind, that is the person who is responsible. Take the messages as they resonate. Not all messages are going to resonate with you. Uh, we have a copycat, somebody who likes to copy you. Copy your style, copy your swag. Somebody who is uh, attempting to uh, defame your character, tell people things that are untrue about you, get people to dislike you, not like, uh, not like you, and then turn around and copy your style there's another card under here it's energy vampire this person is also an energy vampire they were vamping off your energy in some kind of way or stealing your energy in some way yeah this vampire looks hungry they could be uh, they could be wanting to come back in to get you again oops sorry about that Yeah, they wanted to copy your style. 
They wanted to get you out of the picture. They wanted to make you feel less than, make you feel that like you're not enough. Maybe, maybe at the time you were struggling financially, they wanted to make you feel like you, like you couldn't perform because of your financial status. That could have been one of the reasons. Um, okay, maybe you're in a band as well, or maybe you're going to be in some kind of band or group, or this is something that you wanted for your life, okay? We have a boat in the reverse, so somebody doesn't want you to travel or make some kind of journey uh, to leave. They could have been attempting to try to organize something to stop you from leaving on this boat going on this journey come sail away come sail away come sail away with me Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. That's the song I'm hearing in my head. You're too powerful. Okay, so whatever these plans, these schemes, whatever these people were attempting to do to you, um, know that you're too powerful. You've overcame all this. You overcame this whole situation. They did not expect you to overcome it. They did not over uh, expect you to overcome the treachery, the, the, the thieving, the lying, all the backstabbing, the betrayal. They did not expect you to come pop out on the other side of this shining white, light, beautiful, shiny, magnificent, glorious yeah they're upset about this upset that you have overcame their treachery their scheme their plan to defame your character to defame your talent to um to try to stop your journey try to stop your highest and greatest good to copy you to steal your energy you're too powerful Let's get to, uh, I pulled out the letters and numbers here. We're going to get, we're going to get some letters and numbers. See if we can get like some kind of answer here as to what this person or people are seeing seven, six, all right. Somebody could have been born in 76 or 67, 1967, 1976. You could be a life path. They could be a life path number six or seven. Or you can be. Or maybe there's just something significant about that time period. We have we have a T. Okay, so first, middle, last. We have J, first, middle, last, initial, or let's see, we have U, the number two. We also have the number nine here, but it came out upside down, so it could be a nine or a six. You could be a life path number nine or a life path number six. You could be born on the sixth of the month or the ninth of the month. You could be born in August, or I'm sorry, you could be born in June or September. Is significant. Somebody was 29 when this went down. 29, 4. So we have 42, 49, 24, 29, I. First, middle, last initial. And let's get like one or two more. Let's see, 5. Okay, so 25, 24. 25. I keep hearing 24. Somebody could have been 24. 27. One more. Why? Okay. So. Let's 
JJ. Somebody's name could be JJ. Tyler. Tiara. All right, so let's go ahead and get a dive a little deeper into this message here. We're 10 minutes in right now. I'm going to be using this. Uh, it's Alice and Luna's Tarot. Okay, so some Alice in Wonderland cards. They're kind of like anime style. I haven't really used these cards that much, so um, let's see what Spear has for us. Okay. These cards are a little smaller than what I'm used to with the big clunky cards. Okay. So just to refresh, we have uh, somebody that was uh, defaming your character in some kind of way, uh, in some kind of mischievous way. All right, there was a rock band or a rock group involved. Uh, there was defamation of character, trying to copy your style, copy your energy, copy your swag, steal your energy, uh, and stop you from going on this journey. But no, spirit wants you to know that you're too powerful. You've overcame all of this. Okay, let's see what we get here for the tarot. All right, we got the sun and the five of swords. And with the five of swords, sorry. Five of swords, sun with the five of swords. Okay, we're gonna do something here. I'm gonna look up. I actually wanna look up the five of swords. Okay, right here, five of swords. Conquest, defeat, hollow victory, accepting limitations, conflicting interests. Key phrases, no-win situation, thinking of yourself and no one else, winning the battle, feeling defeated, dishonorable behavior, experiencing hostility. So these people are experiencing uh, defeat right now because you are in this sun energy. You are, or you're about to be in this sun energy. This is where the light is illuminated. Uh, things are going well in your life. As you can see on the card, the person is smiling. They're on a horse, or maybe this is some kind of gift or represents some kind of gift or money. Um, you could actually get, maybe you love horses. Okay, somebody here could love horses or animals just in general. Okay, you're coming into this blissful time of family life and happy times and happy memories and these people are defeated okay usually in this card it's a, a man uh, holding all the swords while other people walk away in defeat okay you are the man you are the man holding the swords while the others have to walk away in defeat um it's I mean, plain and simple. You're too powerful. You've overcame the def defamation of character. You overcame this copycat. You overcame all this stuff, this energy vampire, so that you could get to your ultimate happiness, okay? These people are accepting defeat. They didn't win. They feel defeated. Okay? I just wanted to stop and clarify that card because I wanted to make sure I got it right. I love each and every one of you guys. I appreciate you guys so much uh, down in uh, the comments. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you so much for your encouragement. It goes a long way. Even if you don't have, even if you can't donate to the channel or whatever, just your likes, 
your subscriptions and your comments go a really far away and they truly do help me out and um, I'm eternally grateful for the people who are on this channel people who are a part of my soul family I'm on a journey I'm on a mission to find those people and to um, and to yeah and to uh, become one with my soul family and group and, and to bring them all together so that we can create good in this world so we can create heaven on earth uh, just like the prayer, Heavenly Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. For or we forgive everyone who trespassed against us and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I almost forgot that for a minute. And I say that prayer all the time. Um, I do believe that it protects me. It helps me throughout my daily activities. Um, despite, you know, where the prayer came from, a lot of people think, you know, a lot of people have a lot of different assumptions of where these prayers come from, where, where, uh, these beliefs come from. And, uh, yeah, sometimes you have to go back in history to really learn what is real, what is true. We have to go back to ancient civilizations and how they lived and how they worshiped and what they believed in. And um, I promise you, the further you go back, the more you learn and the more you uncover. And um, it truly is amazing. It's an amazing uh, time to live. It's an amazing time to live because we're at the Prestibus. Prestibus, I'm hearing. <laughs> Prestibus, I don't know. Uh, we're, we're, at the, um, we're at the peak of life where things are really, you know, about to take off a lot of things are going on technology is at an all-time high um you know if we have a if you have a disease you know for the most part most you know we have more cures today than we did before um you know medicine you know our lifespan is increasing uh, there's just a lot of things, you know, we have a lot of luxuries. We have a lot of things nowadays that we didn't have, you know, well, that they say we didn't have back in ancient civilization. But to be honest with you, I really do think those pyramids were, um, were power sources and they were using it for other reasons than what they're telling us. Okay. Um, that's just my own opinion. Seven of Wands. I definitely see maybe a friend, somebody who cares about you. This card is so cute. <laughs> I hear the birds outside chirping. I think spring, spring is officially here, I think. Uh, I was just looking at this card. Okay, Seven of Wands. Nine of Six of Wands. Okay. Uh, defiance, purpose, gaining the advantage. Refusing to budge on principle, sticking to your guns, going for broke, defending yourself. Confidence to say no being resolute okay so what i'm getting from this card is like you're learning to set your boundaries you're learning to set your bound uh, boundaries and you're very firm and strong in your boundaries that's something that you've had to learn to do it's self-love it's caring about yourself it's learning to say no to say things that are no good for you learning to say no to things that are not good for you also you've been defending yourself from these attacks from these defamations of character from these uh blockages from these energy vampires uh for far too long and you're gaining the advantage you're gonna come out on top just keep moving forward keep going I'm hearing that's what I'm hearing just keep going just keep going because you're winning you're getting the advantage you're not doing all this for no reason the most high God didn't send you all this way just for nothing to happen that's not how our God works our God is a mighty God 
and he performs miracles every day. Nine of Pentacles. Not only are you going to come out on top, but you're going to get your wish fulfillment. You're going to get what's yours. You're going to get what you what you deserve. You're going to get what you deserve. You could love to cook or bake. You you could be receiving help. Somebody could be you could be collaborating collaborating with somebody or receiving help in some kind of way so that you can get what's yours. Somebody could be helping you against all these different opponents, opponents of yours who think they're opponents, but they're not opposing anything. They're not opposing anyone. They can't even stand on their own ideals. They don't even believe their own be beliefs. They don't even they don't have any beliefs to stand on. They don't even have a worldview. So how could they be an opponent when they don't even have their own mind on right? You know, I'm seeing, I'm seeing that part like in Beetlejuice where his head's spinning around um, and like falling off and, and stuff. They don't even got their own head on right. They don't even, they can't stand, how, if you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. And that's just the truth. Let's look up the Nine of Pentacles card, just because I know what the Nine of Pentacles is, but I've been looking up cards more often lately, guys, and I'm really uh, wanting to get like the true meanings of them. Um, not that I don't already know the meanings to the cards, but I'm just I'm trying to get better, or I'm getting better, not trying. I'm getting better um, every day. Okay, so uh, Nine of Pentacles, accomplishment, refinement, independence. Well, I'm glad I looked these cards up because I was wrong. Okay, I was wrong on this one. Uh, Nine of Cups is the wish fulfillment card. Nine of Pentacles, accomplishment, refinement, independence, self-reliance, being resourceful, knowing you are in control of the situation, financial material security, enjoying the finer pleasures of life, an inner sense of security, acting on your own in self-discipline okay you're coming into a no new level of self-discipline uh learning when to say no uh to others and yourself you are you're coming into this self-sufficient independent energy this is what these people did not want for you they did not want you to uh be self-sufficient independent to be able to have the luxury of going out and buying whatever you want um you know being able to take trips go places learn new things um see uh beautiful sights um you know what i see i see this battle here i see somebody helping you out with all these different uh things coming against you having a friend having someone to rely on uh somebody to watch uh over you or to help you in some kind of way maybe this person is more knowledgeable or they maybe they're clear audience clear sentient they see something that not everybody sees and i see you coming into this new level of income this financial security um owning your own business uh being your own boss okay and uh, it's going to allow you to, to get your own place, to be financially secure and independent. Page of Pentacles with the strength. Uh, I see a gift here. There's some kind of gift. Uh, there's like a birthday cake with a pentacle on it. All right, and then the strength card, she's flying on a bird. So you're gonna be free. Uh, you're gonna find the inner strength uh, to do what must be done. Uh, you're gonna find the inner strength to 
be able to maintain this, to maintain this wealth and prosperity, this financial independence. Okay, you're going to find the strength within, within to be your own boss, to do your own thing. You're going to learn whatever you need to learn in order to accomplish that. I see a gift being given here. Okay, it may not be anything major. All right, nothing like too crazy. Not, it's not going to be like a million dollars or anything, but I do see somebody giving you a gift of some kind, and it could just be a gesture, a kind gesture. It could be anything, but somebody wants to bless you. Somebody wants to give you a gift. They see how far you've come. The lovers, okay, this could be in regards to love even. All right, somebody could really like have a crush on you or they see that there could be other, you could have a lot of options in love. You see all these different heart apples here. Okay, so there could be a lot of different choices that are being um, offered to you. Okay, so you might have to use your discernment and really uh, when it comes to picking this lover. All right, you could be very cute, very attractive, you're sought after by many people. Five of Pentacles. Okay, walking away from poverty. Or Five of Pentacles. Some There's something about some kind of lack or limitation or somebody stuck in some kind of lack mentality or... with the ace of swords Four swords, repose, temporary retreat, contemplation, a truths, inner fears, emotional ghosts from the past. Key phrases, making time for yourself to be alone, finding your own space, relaxing and taking it easy, standing back and reviewing the situation, preparing for the future, taking stock of your objectives and slowing down. Okay, so you could be taking a break to slow down to think about a situation all right there's some kind of truth that is going to be revealed either within yourself or this is out uh, some kind of uh, outspoken truth take it as it resonates but there is uh, either spirit is confirming that this is the truth or there is going to be some kind of truth that is revealed okay you're going to be retreating uh there you could be taking a break after a long battle a long battle. You could be reviewing the situation, taking stock, having a making a temporary retreat from others. All right, we got a couple more minutes and then I am going to close out the reading again. Thank you guys so much for your support for being here for being a part of this soul group this soul tribe i'm truly honored and grateful uh we have a lot of cards that just came out here so i'm gonna interpret read these cards and then we're gonna close out the reading be sure to check out the description box below um i did plug my sister's channel in there midnight candy queen if you want to go check out her channel she is doing a documentary right now that i was a part of and we made a video together um so if you want to go check out her channel uh yeah go go do that i also have my music videos linked down in the description box and then all the other stuff like if you want a personal reading i have my email listed down there um if i haven't gotten to your email yet just be patient with me um i was on my email yesterday and i replied to a few people uh who are looking for readings so um if you have emailed me and i haven't gotten back to you um i'll get back to you shortly 
So, okay, we have um, the Nine of Wands that popped out here. Okay, I'm seeing a refinement. Maybe uh, somebody could be taking you out uh, to get new clothes. I see, I see you. Uh, there's some kind of change in your appearance. Nine of Wands with the Four of Wands. Now, I know the Nine of Wands, I believe, is the Wounded Warrior card. Nine of Wands, yeah. Uh, preparedness at the ready, defensiveness, strength, and awareness. Okay, so there is some kind of defensiveness... Um, when it comes to 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 this home, to this house, it, it feels like you, uh, you see Alice. She's out like in that part of the movie where she's outgrowing the house. She takes the potion, and then she grows way too big for the house. Okay, this is you. You're you're growing. You're outgrowing your surroundings. You're outgrowing your situation. And this is going to happen, or this has already happened, and you're already been feeling this way. Okay. So spirit could be really working with you when it comes to this wounded warrior mentality. Maybe you've been maybe you've been paranoid, you've had yeah, like PTSD or when it comes to working with other people. So somebody could be taking you out on town, I see, uh maybe buying you some new things, treating you really well. Okay? And uh this could change, you know, help you with this it could help you with this defensiveness that you're feeling. To, uh, Spirit wants you to have hope in humanity again. Have hope in other people. Not everybody is an evil person. Not everybody is out to get you. Not everybody's out to defame your character and steal your energy and uh, try to block your journey, okay? Not everybody is like that. And Spirit wants to show you that. Spirit wants to show you that kindness. The universe wants to bless you. It wants to pour its blessings upon you. But in order for the universe to do that, you have to begin to trust others again. We have the Queen of Cups with the Six of Cups. All right, this is a, a sweetheart. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Sweetheart. Cute. Beautiful. Emotional. Emotionally balanced. With the Six of Cups. Re reciprocity something being balanced out something being made fair let's look up the six of cups six of cups oh okay uh, innocence, nostalgia, playfulness and childhood key phrases, acknowledge your inner child goodwill to all having nostalgic feelings, sentimental memories. All right, so this is having uh, nostalgia, sentimental memories. Um, uh, my bad. I misread this card when I first seen it. But I do feel like there's a reciprocity here as well. You know, just because I looked at the card wrong doesn't mean that um, I'm not right about the interpretation because what I'm looking at on the card, I'm seeing two people sitting together, having coffee, maybe chatting, talking to one another. All right. Um, this is a, this is a revisiting childhood memories, nostalgia, um, innocence, nostalgia, playfulness and childhood. You could be reviewing your inner child, uh, you could be healing your inner child, okay? And therefore, you could be making new memories with people, going, uh, talking about things that happened a long time ago, laughing about old memories, old stupid things that you used to do together, okay? This could be a family member or a friend. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this reading. Um, I will be back on later to do another reading. I just want to th uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart just for all your support, for supporting me on this journey, on this path to healing and light and becoming all that we can be. And um, yeah, all that good stuff. And I thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.